ballet is an art form, and then you have the musicians and the choreography, but then you also have like the costumes in itself is an art form, how they make them, but then the painting that goes into the fabrics, that's its own art form, you know? So it's a very like multi-layered art in general. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm the costume designer for the new Pontus Lidberg piece. We're here at my studio in the Bakehouse Art Complex, where I make all my own textiles, and there's always a lot going on here. I began my dance career here at Miami City Ballet. I was here dancing for a total of 12 years, most of them as a soloist. I believe that my ballet background informs my costume and fashion design business because I have an understanding of how the body moves through space and how to accentuate it in ways to make it feel free and beautiful. My transition from a dancer into a fashion designer was unexpected. At first when I was dancing with Miami City Ballet, if there was a rare chance where I didn't have a lot of work, I would bring my sewing machine up to the costume shop on the third floor and they would help me by teaching me what I needed to do myself. And it was there that I started making some of my first gala dresses. This is one rare exception where the costumes were made prior to the choreography. But because I know Pontus and his work, I feel that I have a little bit of an understanding. He has such an organic nature. So it made me feel that I could use that type of movement and silky quality in my pieces. The most challenging part about creating hand-painted silks is the fact that there's no do-over. There's no second chance. So once you stretch the fabric and you put your dye with your brush on, there's no way to undo what you did. So you have to make sure that the paint is in the correct place and that it's the right color, the right shading. So the pressure's on. So there were sketches drawn and then initial patterns that were designed. Those patterns were then drawn out. An outline was put on the plain white silk. From there, the silk was stretched on frames, each one a different size each day, multiple times a day, different sizes. From there, then they were painted. Sometimes it could be up to 20 hours. Then I wrap it in paper and it's suspended into a large cylinder steamer. And it's steamed for a total of two hours and that's the only way to set the dye onto the silk. It's, I think, a very old fashioned way. They haven't changed it in a hundred years. Martha Graham had a lot of really fabulous quotes and one quote that she had with regards to dancers was, a dancer is the only person who dies twice, meaning that once you finish your career, you feel like you, the life that you knew is over. But I like to think of it in a positive spin that we're the only people who get to live two lives. So that's how I feel now. I'm getting to live my second life. I'm very grateful for this opportunity because it's a really full circle moment to come back to Miami City Ballet where it's the primary focus of my career was here. And to also work with Pontus, who I danced his choreography with Lourdes. So it really is when they say full circle, this is definitely one of those moments.